takes nine. Hello there YouTube, today we come to you with another video and this time it's a repair video and we are going to work on a Bamboo X1 carbon and the problem is that the uh, heat bed sensor cable needs to be replaced but there are so many steps that has to be done in order to just get onto the cable and get the print bed out so it's something I wanted to share with you guys and this is me taking off the back plate and this is what the printer now looks like from the inside as you can see so let me just work on it a little bit more and then I can show you what I have been coming to okay guys we made some progress but I have some stuff to say about the bamboo printers I don't think these printers are for first-time 3d printer users not at all forget it why would you think why would I say this it's because it's when anything happens to this printer Bamboo relies on you to fix it. Anything. Anything that goes wrong, you have to fix it your, yourself. So guys, I managed to take the heat bed off. And I'm going to show you guys how I routed this cable. This new cable is here. This one is a new cable. And what I've done is I've routed it through this hole here and it comes and I used a double sided tape so that the cable stays always in its spot. I pushed it firmly in so I can't push it any further in it's perfectly in line and then this double sided tape I used here and I also used a double sided tape to hold the cable on this side of the well this plate so that it doesn't interfere with these holes here if I'm uh, reassembling it. And the other other cables, you don't have to touch anything. To all, in order to take this off, um, you're gonna use tweezers, and you need to heat this up with, let's say, a high hair dryer, as uh, Bamboo is uh, suggesting you. And you, when it's hot, it is really easy to peel off. Uh, that's what I've done, and now it should now <laughs> be able to reassemble it, because all the rest of the things here, you have to just double check that everything is in spot here as well so just pushing it so that you know it's all there um, yeah so that's it so I want to talk to you guys about the the printer itself here so yeah the printer looks now like a P1P don't you think because the side panel is off if I take the left side panel off as well it is basically a P1P with a color screen and a LiDAR scanner yeah but that's not what we're going to do but in order to test the printer first out I'm going to uh, assemble everything back route the cables through this hole here it's very small maybe Bamboo should have made a bigger hole I don't know if you can see it here all the cables have to be routed through there which is very small but I need to go into the instructions more maybe uh, the cable the the sensor cable especially isn't being routed through there so I'm hoping it's not because I think that was the issue that um, the the movement of the bed going up and down was actually you know degrading the cable so as far as I have gotten news I need to reroute it in a different path so that's what I'm going to do and let me just look at everything now and I will do the next steps and I will tell you guys step by step what I've done the other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is well the right side panel on the newest models there they will be using less bolts because I had like 16 bolts uh, which is too much and uh, maybe it's for the rattling issue if there is a rattling whatever they were they were trying to just be sure be double sure be triple sure be 16 times sure to not have a rattling but yeah it is in the cost of having to put in that many bolts or put out that many bolts um yeah it's just uh i'll show you guys here that i had to take off this fan as well because reaching this angle here was just very painful it wasn't easy but I did succeed I did take to take the foam here of foaming on the fan off and everything and also I'm afraid the newer versions which are not the Kickstarter versions have a better way of uh, well taking it apart and assembling 
because this one is like a test unit almost well even though if it's a version like a consumer version it still has its uh, shortcomings to assemble or deassemble the system i'm really hoping after i assemble it reassemble it that the problems have been uh, solved if not then we will have to uh, open another ticket to get a new heat bed i'm afraid but i'm ho i'm f crossing my fingers again and hoping that that's not going to be the case but because it's been a while since i could uh, print with this printer and i want to print with it again because i really love it when it's working it's just perfectly it's just one of the best printers i've uh, worked with but it was also one of the uh, hardest printers to take it apart and fix something so keep that in mind guys if you're a new user like a new 3d printer user and there is no technician who understands all this kind of processes maybe it's not the best printer at the moment because i can only um, talk about the printer system that i have here which is which was a hustle to take it apart so maybe there are better versions that don't have these issues so we'll have to just wait and see uh, if any other people have this issue as well but anyways guys i'm gonna just go to the to the steps of reassembling the system so guys the assembly is like 70 percent done so now we need to do the self-test and we just pressed device self-test start test so let's hope that everything is going to work as it's supposed to self test completed so we're gonna confirm it so guys the assembly is completely finished and we are going to test the printer for a test print I really think it's gonna go well but you never know because yesterday we have tested the self testing and it succeeded but today we're going to do an actual print so I did leave out four screws four of them I didn't install because just it's the way that I didn't like the screws on the right hand right side panel it's just too much I think I even used too many screws to be honest but then again uh, maybe it's better to use more screws than it needs because it might start rattling around we'll see what this test brings so guys the print has started and as far as I can see there are no error messages or anything let's go to home here real quick so guys the print is finished and now we're going to see what kind of a quality we are getting from it as we were going to test it there we go some of them are falling off <laughs> really nice no problem at all it has come up really good this one also a pretty nice sprint no faults or whatsoever okay so guys this repair was a success as you can see no problems at all so what you had to what I had to do in order to get this fixed done is 
take the take the plates off take the right panel off take the back off and then route the cables out of the system from the back to the front and once the cables are out you just turn the heat bit around and then you take it well you take the three screws that are holding the heat bit inside and you disassemble the back plate of the heat bit and then you take the put the new sensor cable inside of it and then you assemble it right back as you disassembled it and then you test the system and if it's success you are in luck if not <laughs> i'm afraid you will have to get a new heat bed uh, assembly completely anyways guys thank you for watching this video hit the thumbs up if you liked the video hit the thumbs up if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future bye